Hi Gemini and how are you today? So today the 13th of August is number 13 and this is the death card in the Major Arcana card. So we're having a look at transforming our life and the date 13th of August will boil down to a 7, 13, 8, 2 and 2. So what we're looking at today is the transform mansion and see how we can move on. So for Geminis, let's have a look what aspects. Sorry it's late again. <laughs> what do Geminis need to know? What does Gemini? And then we're going to have a look at the changing aspects. What's the changing aspect? And then we'll use an oracle card of the Nature Whispers just to see further what's going on. So the death is a great card to look at because in life it's always good to renew rebirth, renew, out with the old and really aspiring to take on board the newness of the situation. So the death is actually on the white horse which is the spiritual horse. So messages from spirit needs a clearing away. So how fast are you going through your renewal aspect? Today we see the death card with the red streamer so in some countries this signifies good wealth and good fortune so what we're clearing away today is really of good fortune coming in and it's important to do that so the first aspect for gemini is projections so sometimes what we do is we project our own feelings our own thoughts onto somebody else and it's almost like there's an illusion so if someone's doing that to yourself and there's a sense of codependency in relationships and people are trying to belittle you and not listen to your opinion because you matter. You have a voice and you matter. So this is a card perhaps today about not taking any rubbish from those of, you, of people around you. So with the chariot you see this man all dressed up in a very strong uniform so he's got that will he's got the intention and will to move away from the security of his home he's crossing the still waters and he, and his um leaders to guide him are both male and female so he's got that um force to go forward so this is a good thing to stop projecting and stop allowing people to superimpose their ideas, thoughts and feelings onto you when you know full well that what you feel and what you know is what you feel and what you know. So it's important that, isn't it? So you may be becoming quite aware of things around you now. So this awareness is very important. So it's teamed up with the chariot um, card there, being number seven. So movement is definitely, definitely um, going ahead. And for you, this is inside movement. So where is your awareness? Are you tapping into that intuition and revealing stuff? So this is a journey for you. This is important for Geminis to go on the journey. Gemini is always two twins going forward so in two directions you can go you can physically go or you can go inside so two different directions some of you may feel that it will be more beneficial to actually physically move from certain situations or people in general and others want to really go inside to their spiritual connection so this is like a death of the old the physical old just stepping back so your spirit and your soul can come forth does that make sense right you're going to have some help 
with a spiritual master. So the, this master is very wise, very wise. <laughs> so he's in tune with himself and spirit. Sometimes this will go in cycles. Sometimes he'll give you very good advice. And other times you think, what? <laughs> so using your own awareness is a lot better sometimes than using somebody else's. So again, is, is this person in your life that you may find, is it the real deal? Because some people aren't, you know, you know, don't take things at face value like that. So it's important to find the right spiritual master when trying to look for that guidance so hit death death of the old <laughs> so you have the morality question here so what in your life at the moment are you really keeping hold of do you feel locked away from your own emotions and feelings and your own inner voice is trying to come out fully now so just revealing to yourself and thinking for yourself and being responsible. This is the movement. So I feel for Gemini, there is going to be a huge shift, a huge, massive shift of consciousness moving forward. So take action. You can adopt a quiet inner role, but also a very young role, connecting to the out with the old aspect. So your mind is a little bit confused at times, so, which is fair enough. I mean, you know, it's just the nature of the mind. But a lot of you want to speak your mind. So when in conversations with two people or whatever, a group, then, as I've said before, you have a right to your own opinion. And your idea might be the best opinion in the whole group, in the whole workplace. But why aren't you being listened? You know, it's frustrating, isn't it? So this is an indication if people aren't really listening to you or taking your opinion as valued, is it time to sort kind of go out with the old, in with the new and start again somewhere else? Because let's face it, if people aren't valuing you in a way, you're kind of saying it's OK if you don't respect or value me. So it's, it is important to let go of those people who are trying to control. Just become aware and, and move on. So for Geminis today, you've got the intensity to focus on um, direction. Direction and focus to, to the point that is a bullseye. Because aiming now is vitally important. So what does that mean in your life? It means focusing on that thing that needs to be changed. It's vitally important to focus on your inner self. So when you go still and be your own master instead of letting others' opinions guide you and you relying on that with the control because you're so used to it. So falling in a trap of other people saying, oh, it's like this and like this, when you haven't even asked your own spirit guide or God itself on a higher level. So these are the things that perhaps it would be a good idea today and tomorrow, if you're reading this tomorrow, to actually have a look at. So there is transformation for you on a very, very big level if you allow it. So let's have a look at the Nature Whisper Oracle. This is this one here, Nature's Whispers. You can find all my decks um, in the description below with the affili affiliate links. Right, so what does our Gemini friends need to know today? Oh, that's beautiful. Acceptance of love. So what, can you see that card? It's the tree merging with the plants. And that is just beautiful, isn't it? When two things merge together in unity after duality, it's a lovely explosion of love. And then it just dissolves. So everything dissolves into acceptance. So one has to accept themselves before they can accept another aspect. So for you guys, it's to be grounded today in a way that you accept what is in your heart 
and hopefully the love will flow even more. And if it doesn't flow, just remind yourself, today's a chariot and the awareness and the movement inside. So looking at your heart in a bigger deal and saying to yourself, what is my truth about love? What is my truth about acceptance? Because acceptance of love and healing, look how healing this card is for you guys. So connecting two things together for you, your mind and your heart, will allow the spirits to just say, yeah, finally on the right path after all this time. So it's like a congratulatory celebration today. Thank you, Gemini, for listening and lots of love to you. And we'll see you again soon.